Well, I must be pretty fucking down bad to have installed this shit game again, booted it up, and to record a video with it, man. I must be pretty fucking down bad. Alright, I literally just killed two zombies wide of the round end. So, okay. You guys know how I feel about this game. Alright, I have I have a lot of negative feelings for Cold War, and I haven't exactly, you know, kept... Okay, I'm, I'm pretty fucking confused right now. I don't understand why the rounds are just ending before I even kill any zombies. But you guys know how I feel about this game. You know, I've been very vocal about it. You know, I, I take my opinions to Twitter, talk shit about this game on the regular, on stream, on my podcast, everywhere. All right. You know, I think the mechanics are god awful. I, I, I have not played this game since probably december of last year december of last year man you know and there's there's a good reason for that why you may ask me why did i decide to stop playing cold war altogether uninstall it stop watching the game and not give a shit about it you know it, that's a good question that you guys are asking well you know there, there, there's a couple things all right there's a couple things Mainly the mechanics, all right? I have an issue with pretty much every single Cold War mechanic, all right? Every single Cold War mechanic. You know, not just one, not just two, not just three. There is nothing redeemable about the mechanics of this game for me. There's nothing that would bring me in to play this, all right? So, every single map consists of sitting in a fucking corner with some kind of wonder weapon, whether it's the ray gun, or that Ray K fucking weird ass shit. And all you do, sit there, and you spam that. And you pop your ring of fire. Nice. Let's say you ran out of ammo. Oh shit. What do you do? Wait. You can just go to the ammo boxes and buy more ammo. That's right. Alright. Well, you don't even want to run to the ammo boxes. You can just walk a couple steps forward and go grab some ammo that has been dropped onto the floor by the zombies wow all right let's say you're about to die what happens you're about to die oh wait you have a chopper gunner why don't you just pop the chopper gunner and you can get out of it all right okay you don't have a chopper gunner wait you know what let's uh we, we don't need a chopper gunner. let's just throw a de uh, let's just throw a decoy grenade all right then the zombies go away and we got time to escape all right let's say all else failed all right literally everything that we could have possibly wanted has failed what is going to happen to us now well we fucked up we downed our game's over right no we pop back up with our self revive and guess what we can run back down and we can buy another revive we down again we can buy another revive we down again we can buy another revive i think you guys get what i'm trying to get out here you know you, and then you're wondering, like, how do people even die on Cold War? That's a good question. They don't, you know? People don't fucking die on Cold War. So how do their games come to the end? Well, I mean... No. There's this thing called instability. This game is a little bit unstable, man. Just a little bit unstable. So pretty much everyone's games end to a crash. Some sort of error. Or something like that, man. And it's completely out of their control. You know what? Let's say you don't crash or error. Oh, wait. There's a round cap at 935 as well? So, so pretty much everybody can get to the same round? Okay, so there must be something good about Cold War, right? There must be something good about the game. You know... Like, I'm not that negative of a person, you know, I try I try to look at all the, the positives in a situation before completely giving up on something. Hmm. What about zombie health? Oh, nope. That gets capped. Hmm. What else do we got? What about the amount of zombies per round? Oh, no. There's a ridiculously low amount of zombies per round. So you get through these rounds fast. Fast. So around 255 on this game. I don't even know what it would be equivalent to. Like, I don't even know if I would say a 255 on this is equivalent to like 100 on Ascension. Time-wise, probably, or even more. But skill-wise, 
I don't know, man. I don't really know. But who the fuck cares at this point? I decided to hop back on Cold War. You know, why did I do that? I don't know. I really don't. I really don't. But I did. And you know what? This map is pretty fucking cool, all right? As much as I hate Cold War mechanics, I'm about to die after just talking shit about how easy this fucking game is. As much as I hate Cold War mechanics, I can't lie. These maps do look pretty cool. Although I didn't play Firebase Z or Mauer, the maps did look pretty beautiful in my opinion. Like, these are cool looking maps. If I do say so myself. You know? I, if this map was on a different game, you know, who knows? Maybe I would have liked to play it. I don't know. But I also have no idea what I'm doing right now. I see a teleporter up there. You know, that's one good thing about the game, I guess. It tells you what you need to do. I see the teleporter on top of me, but I have no idea how to get there. Let's see, can I open this door? I can open this door. But, and I still don't understand how the rounds are progressing at the start when I wasn't doing anything. Ooh, we got a teleporter, boys. We got a teleporter. Wait. All right, where is this going to take me? All right, but yes, enough complaining about Cold War. I'm on Forsaken. This is actually my first ever experience with the game, you know? I've never, I, I, I mean, I've never had any experience with Forsaken. Never watched the map, never played it, never talked about it, anything like that. Once the map came out, I didn't even think twice about it. It was my birthday when the map came out, October 7th. You know, I was actually kind of disappointed that they decided to come out with this map on the day of my birthday, you know? Well, like, I'm not trying to share the attention. I'm not trying to share my birthday attention with Cold War. Like, if you're gonna do that, at least per, at least do it on a good game, man. You know, if Black Ops 1 came out on my birthday, they came out with Ascension, fuck yeah, dude. You know what? I am glad to share my birthday with Ascension. If, you know, then a new season of a show, like Better Call Saul, came out on my birthday, or a new album from Suicide Boys, or fucking anything like that, you know, I'd be glad to share. But when they tell me October 7th, 2021, my 19th birthday is coming, and they say, all right, let's let's drop a Cold War map that day. I don't know how to feel about that, okay? I feel like it was kind of targeted at me. I feel like it was targeted at me. They know I've been talking shit about this game for too long. Oh, I'm about to die. They know I've been talking shit about this game for the entire year that's been out. And they decided finally it was time to get revenge on me. Okay, I'm running around aimlessly at this point. I really don't know where to go. It says to find repair parts. It says to find repair parts. You know, this game likes to hand things to you. You know, and I'm okay with that at this point. It's handing it to me. It's telling me I need to find repair parts. Where are these repair parts? Okay, it says that I gotta look over here. There's a radio, apparently, man. It's a radio, apparently. What should we do with this radio? I'm not sure. There's another exclamation point. It's a little bit closer. Oh. Oh, there's a cheeseburger. Okay. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Um, well, there's a cheeseburger that I apparently cannot pick up. So I don't really know what the point of that being there is. But I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go over here. I'm gonna go here. There's another searcher area over here. All right. Oh, I see something. Oh. Oh, okay. I don't think I was supposed to be looking for that cheeseburger. Here's another search area. All right. All right. So. I don't know what you guys are gonna think. I don't know what you guys are gonna think. Big Mike, the man who talks shit about Cold War nonstop, has uh, decided to try out the game. I don't know, maybe that shows to how bored I am. Because I did, in fact, uh... Whoa, I don't know how that happened. Because I did, in fact, choose to have a light schedule this year. I took 14 units. The average is 15. I usually take 15. Last last year, I took 15, 16, 15. All right? I went a little bit over, and I came in with 32 as well. From high school, from AP class. But I decided to take 14 this year. I was like, all right. Um, I went hard last year. It's my first time doing in-person classes, so I'm gonna go easy. You know what? At this point, I kind of regret it because I have two in-person classes I can't count up there. I have two in-person classes. One of the in-person classes I don't even really have to go to because it's online, so I don't go to it. Then the other one, Spanish, that's every day. All right, at least I'm going to Spanish every day. Okay, I... I, I 
there's too many ah. can i please pick this up thank you go to spanish every day that's good you know that keeps me occupied then after that monday wednesday friday i have an hour of bio that i don't even have to go to and then on tuesdays i have a two-hour discussion for biology that i have to go to and that's it that's it so i'm telling you like 90 for 95 percent of my time is free and that's concerning to me that's concerning because i like to be busy when i'm not busy it's a little bit worrying like i get a little bit anxious i don't know what to do i also don't have ammo so i don't know what to do in that regard but yeah i i really do like to be occupied last year last year although i had a lot of work like i didn't really do anything okay i didn't do anything and that's probably why i was depressed and yeah and i was depressed last year i was pretty goddamn depressed it was terrible but um this year i've been doing better i actually get to interact with people when i go to class so that's good but i mean there's only one class where i actually interact with people in i made friends there speaking of those friends i actually went to dinner with them on my birthday and i didn't have to think about cold war so that was good okay i bought mule kick and speed cola did not buy juggernaut i don't know what perks are good in this game see if see, it was on, if i was on black ops one right now i was on round 11 i'm running around and i'm about to get swiped by all these times i'd be a little bit scared right you know i don't have jug don't have a good weapon haven't even hit the box i don't even know where the box is i don't know where jug is either i'd be a little bit scared right not in cold war not in cold war i just get to run around what the fuck is that 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 bruh can i go in here oh shit okay i'm about to die uh i regret everything that i have said about this game uh i'm sorry i'm sorry it was a mistake i lied um what the fuck was that it's the uh, defeat the abomination it's the abomination you know i'm a little bit worried about defeating this abomination because i have an ak-74u i don't have any gallo ammo i know that gallo is good in this game i don't have jug either all i have is speed cola so me being able to reload faster you know that's uh, not the most important thing okay so i assume i should just keep my distance from that guy uh i assume i should keep my distance from that guy and i'm gonna do that i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep on running boys i'm gonna keep on running all right so you know if you're if you're watching this video still if you decided to stick around and watch a big mike cold war video which you know i don't know why anybody would do that but if you did you know how is life oh okay this is bad this is bad how is life all right leave let me know in the comments down below how is your life man are you doing good please tell me and, and don't lie I'd, I, you know i know a lot of people when they're asked how they're doing a lot of people when they're asked how they're doing they just said like fine thank you when they're not when they're not okay you know it's not it's not possible for every single person on this earth i don't know what that is to just be okay you know we're we're not okay sometimes and some people just because of politeness decide to say that they are okay when they're not and I, you know i don't think that's a good idea i don't think that's good for your mental health because you're gonna get to the point where you can't even admit that you're doing shit. like if you can't if you keep telling people that you're okay you're gonna believe you're okay when you're not and that's gonna cause you to just like hold in all these emotions Okay, this guy is really scary. I don't like him. And he's going to kill me. It causes you to hold in your emotions. And holding in your emotions is just really... It just isn't healthy, man, you know? It just isn't healthy. Okay, 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 okay. There we go. There we go. We are okay. Holding in your emotions isn't healthy. That's something that men are taught. It's part of this toxic masculinity stuff. You know, a lot of people hear toxic masculinity and they're just like, oh, what is that fucking bullshit? Is that some feminist bullshit? No, no. First of all, feminism is great. You know, be a feminist. You should. But that's off topic. But toxic masculinity, what is that? Well, you know, us boys are taught, you know, not show our emotions we're taught you know it's not really directly stated you should never show your emotions 
But when you're younger, crying is frowned upon. Being sad, being emotional, caring. Like, caring about people even. You know, it's frowned upon. We call the pussy. You say, man up. But the thing is, you're not going to always be able to man up, right? Like, some fucked up shit goes on in life. And if you just try to man up the whole time, you're just bound to fail at some point. And also, when you decide to hold in your emotions and not really show how you feel, you're going to end up bursting. Instead of health in a healthy way, releasing your emotions slowly. Like, okay, I feel sad. I know I'm sad. I'm going to do something to help me not be sad. Instead of that, nah. They hold it up. They hold it up. It's been a week. It's been a month. It's been a fucking year. And they're bound to burst. And I'm telling you, dude, when they when you burst, it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. It's not a good feeling. You could end up doing some pretty fucked up shit, man. So that's, that's why men, I mean anybody, anybody for that matter, need to learn. They really need to learn that it's okay to show their emotions. And you know what? I, I was under that spell too. I was under the impression that it was bad to show emotion, that you were a pussy if you showed your emotions. But you know, I was wrong. It's good to talk about your feelings. I talk about my feelings all the time. It's actually one of my favorite pastimes. I ask other people about their feelings. I like to know what goes on in other people's minds. And I hope people that I like to interact with like to know what's going on in my mind. And it's, you know, it's kind of nice to hear different things from people. It's validating to know that you're not the only one that's feeling like shit, you know? You're not the only one that's feeling like shit. You never are. There's always plenty of people that are in the same situation as you are. And it's always validating to hear that. Okay, that's a lot of zombies. It's always validating to hear that, man. And you know, maybe they, maybe they have advice for you. Maybe they went through some shit. Maybe they went through some shit too. And they came out of it on the other side. They came out of it on the other side. They did. And they learned something from that situation. They could help you. But if you just hold it in and they hold it in, then nobody's ever going to know. And people just aren't going to be able to get better. You know, th this is a Cold War Zombies video. This is Cold War Hater Plays Forsaken. You know what? I'm going to have to give it a rating. I know I was talking about toxic masculinity, talking about school, talking about all that stuff. Kind of like a rant. You know, this has been a little bit of a rant, kind of a freestyle. This wasn't scripted at all. I kind of just thought, you know what? Let me talk about some shit. Let me talk some shit about Cold War. Then uh, after I talk shit about Cold War, I wanted to talk about school. I don't know how that came up, but I did. Then I get to talk some masculinity, feminism, all that kind of shit. But I kind of like this style of video. And I also had quite a lot of G Fuel. So, so, G Fuel. Uh, you guys should buy G Fuel. Use Kodobe. My favorite flavor. Hype sauce so far. The Sonic Peach Rings, it's solid. I don't think it's as good as everybody says it is. I think Hype Sauce was much better. Uh, I do think it was better than Battle Juice, though. Definitely was not a fan of Battle Juice by the end. But you know, this Peach Rings isn't bad. But I'm thinking about ordering some more G Fuel. Because this shit works, all right? You know, I, I'm, I'm trying to lose weight. I'm doing some calorie deficit type shit, so I know how many calories I burn per day. Like, if I did nothing, I would burn about 20... Uh, if I did about nothing, I would burn about 2,400 calories per day. I add on the exercise calories that I burn. So let's say I did, like, 400 calories worth of exercise. I add that on. Then, I subtract the amount of calories I eat, and that's the calorie deficit. So I started at 230 pounds. I'm at 201 pounds now. About to get under 200. Pretty happy about that, right? But it's been hard, man. It's been really hard. You know, so sometimes it's easy. Sometimes there's just days where I'm, I don't mind not eating. I'm busy. I don't even think about eating. So it's easy to eat a thousand calories or 1500 calories. But then there's some days where I'm just sitting around doing nothing. And all I want to do is eat. But if I eat, I know I'm going to feel like shit. And I know I'm going to lose progress. And it's just not good. Do I have an eating disorder? I don't know. Define eating disorder. I don't know. Do I have negative body image? Not as much anymore. I used to. Do I feel like shit when I eat? Kind of. I kind of do. But 
if I'm eating the right calorie amount, I don't feel like shit. So I don't know. I don't know if it's eating disorder or just caring about health and fitness, but whatever it is, it's working. I've lost almost 30 pounds by now. I'm on a consistent calorie deficit, anywhere from a thousand to 2000. Been exercising, riding my bike a lot. I swim once per week for an hour. Hopefully soon I'll be able to swim more than that. Oh, this motherfucker is back. Why is this motherfucker back? And I don't know how to pap, all right? I don't know how to pap. And um, this guy is like really strong. Uh, okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Okay, I don't know how to pap, and that guy's strong, and there's a radio. Okay, I'm not doing that. I need to find an ammo box. Don't know where the ammo boxes are. Should probably find one. But yeah, the calorie deficit, man. Calorie deficit, it works. Add in a little bit of exercise, it works even better, man. You just gotta get into a routine. You gotta get used to it. The way I, I started slow, all right? I didn't, I didn't start super fast. I started by uh, cutting out an, uh, sh energy drinks with sugar. Then I started cutting out energy drinks altogether and soda. And I was drinking pretty much only water for a while. Now I've kind of strayed away from that and that's okay because I know how to maintain that calorie deficit. I also started with eating 2000 calories a day. So my deficit was going to be about 400 or 500. Wasn't some crazy deficit by any means. Ah, uh, that's not good. Mm. It wasn't some crazy deficit by any means. And I'm glad the game is over. That's okay. 15 rounds. Dude, we're cracked. We're cracked. But yeah, I started slow. And slowly, I went from having a 500 calorie deficit to like 1,000 to 1,500 plus. And right now, I try to main between 1,000 and 2,000 depending on the day. But it's been going well. And I played Cold War. Wasn't the worst experience ever. Would I want to sit here for hours in a corner with Ring of Fire and a Wonder Weapon? No, I would not. I'm sorry. I would never. But would I hop on here for a few minutes, make a video, maybe play with a friend, maybe try an Easter egg? Sure. I would. You know what? I really would. In this game... As much as I think it's shit, as much as I think it's shit, because I play competitively for high rounds and Easter egg speedruns sometimes. If you just want to come on here and have some fun, it is not the worst thing in the world. I will say that. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this kind of video. I know it was really all over the place, kind of a rant, but I enjoyed it. Got to talk about whatever I wanted, unscripted, tried out this new map, probably not going to remember anything from it because I was so focused on talking, but that's okay. Thank you guys once again for tuning into the video. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to our channel, turn on those notifications, drop a like, drop a comment, all that shit. Go buy some G Fuel, use code obey. You guys know what's up. I'm also trying to get a code, so go buy G Fuel, use code obey, tell people that Big Mike sent you, all that stuff. I'd appreciate it. Thanks guys once again, and I will uh, see you in the next one. Peace.